Welcome to this series of tutorial videos helping you get started using Kinemac. Kinemac is 3D real-time animation and presentation software for Mac OS X. It allows you to create your own professional 3D animations with the simplicity of a 2D presentation tool. I'll show you how easy it is to create your own dynamic 3D animations using Kinemac. Let's get started. The first step is to create and manipulate objects in Kinemac. Click the 3D Object button on the toolbar to create a new object. Here we've created a cube. We can manipulate it on the stage. Hold Control to rotate it on the X and Y axis and hold Option Control to rotate it on the Z axis. Resize the cube by clicking on it and holding. Then press the Command key to drag and resize on the X and Y axes. Hold down Command Option and drag to resize on the Z axis. You also have complete control of all the attributes over on the inspector. Importing is as easy as drag and drop. Import images, quartz compositions, audio and video files. Just drag them onto the object to map them to the object. You can also easily import OBJ or 3DS simple files. It's just as easy to create a text object. We can move, rotate, and resize this object on the stage just like any other object. You can import an RTF or RTFD file right into Kinemac. Create scrolling text. Set your scroll direction and speed and press the space bar to watch it in real time. Text can even scroll in 3D on a path. Let's create a 3D text object from the 3D button. You can change the colors of all of the sides just as easily as you can change the font of the text or edit the text itself. Apply a texture to the 3D text object. You can apply images, movies, and quartz compositions as textures. Now that you see how easy it is to create and manipulate 2D and 3D objects in Kinemac, let's start animating them. In Kinemac, you use simple yet powerful keyframe animation to create your videos. Let's create another cube on the stage. Press Command-4 to open the inspector, and Command-2 to open the sprite window, our main timeline. Group all the windows together if you'd like by pressing Command-Control-1. Let's resize the cube and apply some textures as we saw earlier. Select the cube and press Command-K to create a keyframe in the selected frame. Move and rotate the object where you'd like it. Move the playhead further down the ruler view. In addition to Command-K, we can add keyframes by pressing the keyframe buttons on the geometry panel. Move the object to another position and rotation. Command left arrow moves the playhead to the beginning. Now press the spacebar to see your animation play back in real time. To speed up or slow down the action, drag the keyframe icon on the ruler earlier or later in time. Double click the sprite on the ruler to open the Bezier window or press Command 3. Move your keyframe forward or backward in time by moving the keyframe icon on top of the grid or move individual attributes by moving their points on the grid. You have further fine control by moving each point's Bezier handle, offering acceleration and easing in and out of motion. Remove keyframes by option-clicking a keyframe icon on the geometry panel or by dragging the keyframe out of the ruler while holding the command key. Objects aren't the only items you can animate. Kinemac has powerful cameras that will allow you to move and zoom around your creation. Like other powerful 3D motion graphics programs, Kinemac uses cameras to create dynamic three-dimensional animations. Let's import an SVG file. An SVG file is a 2D vector illustration. Kinemac will automatically extrude your 2D logo. I can manipulate this logo's attributes, like its 3D depth. I can manipulate the whole logo or just single letters within the logo by option-clicking on a single object and changing an attribute. 
such as extrusion or position, even textures and ambient, diffuse, and specular colors. Now we'll go to four views mode by pressing the slash key or choosing four views from the views menu. Add a camera by pressing the camera button on the toolbar. We can see the new camera sprite on the timeline. Display the camera icons by pressing apostrophe. You'll see as we move the camera in the top, left, and right panes, the point of view of the scene will change. To animate the camera, let's move the playhead to zero and press Command K to add keyframes. The keyframes we created are for the eye and target positions. We can also create keyframes by using the keyframe buttons on the inspector panel. Now we'll move the camera's point of view. Next we'll move the playhead to frame 200, press Command K to add another keyframe, and move the camera again. We'll repeat those steps at frames 400, 600, and 800, each time adding keyframes and moving the camera's point of view. Hold the Command key when dragging the playhead to snap to 10 frame increments. Command left arrow gets us back to the beginning. Press slash to go to one view, and press the space bar to play the camera animation in real time. Press slash again to go back to four view and see everything moving in real time. Animating a camera is a method used in all of the high-end 3D motion graphics programs. Now that we've seen the basics of animating a camera, let's animate a camera on a path. Creating paths is an easy way to animate objects in Kinemac. This 3D model comes from a 3DS file we dragged onto the stage. Click the Path button on the toolbar to create a new path. We'll use the Pen tool and add points along the path. Each point also has bezier handles to adjust the curve of the path. In this view, we're looking down in space on top of the object, so we've created a camera that will go around the object in an arc. After the path is drawn, we can adjust the points. When I adjust points in the front and right panes, you'll see the changes in the other panes. I'm moving the path of the camera in three dimensions. Now on the inspector, with the camera selected, we'll link the eye of the camera to the path. Press slash to go to one view and press the space bar to preview this animation in real time. If we go back to four view, you can see everything moving together. If you select the camera, you can make adjustments to the camera's zoom in the inspector. Now that we've learned how to create, manipulate, and animate objects and cameras, let's take a look at how to make a film strip animation. A film strip animation is a great effect, but in many of the other motion graphics programs, it's hard to make, not in Kinemac. Let's switch our view by clicking slash to go to one view, and then F for front view. We'll create a path. Here is the path in perspective view. On the inspector, we select the path's parameters and then under profile, select strip. You'll see the look of your path turn into a long strip. We'll set the width of the strip to 500. At any time, you can still adjust the points of the path. Next, we'll add an image of film as a texture on our strip by dragging this image onto it. Press Command 5 to open the textures window and we'll set the fill to tile and set its width to 10. Let's change the background color of the stage to a gradient so we can see our strip better. Next, let's add a movie to our strip. Just drag and drop one right onto the strip. To animate the strip, let's create a keyframe for the strip end percent attribute at the first frame. Double click the wheel below it to set it to zero. Now we'll add another keyframe later in time and set the strip end percent back to 100%. Go back and press the space bar to see the result in real time. 
To finish our animation, we'll add keyframes in the same places on the text offset X attribute, setting them to zero and 100% like before. Now press the space bar and see that the video moves with the strip animation. The animations you create in Kinemac play back in real time, even at full screen. To export your animation, choose Export Movie from the File menu. You can export at any size in any codec that QuickTime can export. You can also set motion blur for the animation on the Export Movie panel. And you can even export your animation to a series of still images. We've just scratched the surface on how powerful Kinemac is for creating professional animations and how easy it is to use. For more information, tutorials, and a gallery of Kinemac movies, visit Kinemac.com today.